Where did the enemies come from? Listening to Long Houchen's orders, the members of Soldier Level No. 4 Demon Hunting Squad couldn't help but feel a bit puzzled. Meanwhile, the other six members of Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad had already started preparing according to Long Houchen's orders. Long Houchen, Wang Yuanyuan, and Shima Xian were in the front, Linsen, Chen Yin Air in the middle, and Han Yu at the rear, Chai Er silently disappeared into the darkness, follow Houchen's. Orders, Li Sin drew the sword with a swish, pulling out the long sword assigned to the caravan, each of them had been assigned a regular fine steel sword, just then, suddenly, ahead of the caravan. A white light shot up into the sky, burst open in an instant, forming a massive white light flower that spread in the air, the appearance of the white light, made the entire caravan tense, and all the caravanners immediately reacted in various ways, driving the carts, these cart drivers were obviously specially trained, as the carts moved swiftly, in a matter of moments, over 200 carts were arranged in a large circular formation, over 500 guards in armor appeared around the caravan, and what was surprising was that, their armors emitted a magical aura, at least of magical equipment grade, without a doubt, Long Houchen's words had been verified, and these companions of his were all hidden within the formation of carts. The earth trembled slightly, the trembling sound growing stronger, soon turning into a deafening roar, the sky was very dark, even if one strained their eyes in the pitch darkness, they could only make out the silhouettes on the distant horizon approaching rapidly by the light of stars and moon, Yue Yi stood quietly on top of her cart, her gaze extremely cold, her white dress standing out prominently among the carts. Raising her hand, a white light surged into the sky again, and this time, after the white light burst in the sky, it transformed into a pure white crescent moon, however, the distant shadows seemed as if they hadn't noticed the emblem of the Moonlit Night Merchant Company at all, and their charge didn't falter in the slightest, demon race, they are demons, Wang Yuanyuan muttered in a low voice, Long Houchen glanced at her, and said in a deep voice, everyone, do not act rashly. Unless it's absolutely necessary, no one should act recklessly, at this moment, the distant demon army was getting closer and closer, and the guards on the caravan side couldn't help but change their expressions. It was already clear from a rough estimate, that the number of this demon army wouldn't be fewer than 10,000, at the forefront, there were around 5,000 dual blade demons, charging forward under the lead of more than 10 jade green dual blade demons, behind them, there were lurk clan stealthers, undoubtedly, they posed the greatest threat to the caravan. If these individuals managed to sneak into the formation from below and launch an attack, the extent of the damage could be easily imagined. What was even more terrifying was that, apart from these two races, there were numerous other demon races looming behind, and there were even hundreds of aerial units. However, due to the pitch black sky, their appearances were still unclear, the demon army had no intentions of negotiating, they charged forward recklessly, and charged directly towards them, a strong and bloody killing intent pervaded the air, Long Houchen had been observing the white-dressed girl standing on top of a cart, and as the demon army drew closer and closer, the girl suddenly produced a pair of large flags in her hands, one white and one red, and she waved them rapidly. The 500 guards who had initially charged forward swiftly returned to the formation under the guidance of these flags, and then, Long Houchen heard a series of clinks and clatters, each cart driver became busy, on the outer side of the carts, the wooden panels were lifted, and rows of arrowheads gleaming with a cold light emerged from within, Long Houchen and the 13 of them were exceptionally keen, their pupils contracting instantly, as they noticed that, these arrowheads were actually emitting a faint magical aura, they were magical arrows, you see, even the most basic magical arrows with added acceleration spells, were worth more than two gold coins, moreover. These things were disposable, with so many carts, the cost of a single volley could potentially surpass 10,000 gold coins, this is truly a grand display, Wei Yi stood quietly on the carriage, her delicate face, blending purity and otherworldliness, was now filled with a chilling aura, her purple eyes gleaming with cold light, the white flag lowered, while the red flag was raised above her head. She watched the approaching demon army in silence, the moonlit night merchant. Company had become one of the largest independent trading groups, naturally, they had their means of self-preservation, not being able to hire experts of the sixth rank and above was their greatest disadvantage. But they could rely on other methods to overcome this, for example, equipment, swish, suddenly, the red flag in Yuea's hand shifted from being held high to pointing forward, and in the next instant, a stunning scene unfolded, accompanied by a series of mechanical clicks and the humming of arrows, thousands of colorful luminous streams of energy shot forth, their colors varied, and from each cart, eleven arrows were launched, ten smaller ones and one larger one. As they were released, Long Houchen immediately felt, that these were not just ordinary magical arrows, even the crossbow mechanisms launching them were imbued with magic, moreover, these magical arrows weren't the typical disposable kind, and the intense magical fluctuations they emitted, were comparable to second or third rank offensive spells, especially the largest one, over a meter in length, as thick as a child's arm, and upon being released, even a magical halo of patterns could be seen around it. If viewed from above, the caravan of the Moonlit Night Merchant Company looked like a hornet's nest that had been disturbed, even though the vanguard of the demon army was still 500 meters away. A multitude of magical arrows had already been unleashed, the scene in the next moment was incredibly spectacular, the vanguard of the demon army, was torn apart just like that, 
whether they were ordinary dual blade demons or jade green dual blade demons, within this dense rain of cart based arrows, they were as fragile as clay dolls, their limbs and flesh scattered as blood spewed. This was a storm composed of metal and magic, a terrifying curse forged by wealth, even a seventh rank. Powerhouse would meet a bitter end against such a barrage of magical arrows, the formation consisting entirely of carts spun rapidly under the guidance of the drivers, and as long as the carts were facing forward. Eleven magical arrows were immediately shot forth, the scene was truly breathtaking, though Long Houchen and his group were only able to rotate with the carts they were guarding, every one of them felt a chill running down their spine, the demon army of over 10,000, after being circled by the formation, didn't have a single surviving dual blade demon left, the Lurk clan stealthers at the rear were quick to react, swiftly diving underground to avoid the assault, however, the demons in the distant sky and those who followed closely also suffered a strong blow. The scene of flesh and blood flying through the air remained gruesome as ever, the heavy scent of blood hung in the air as the night breeze blew, making one feel nauseated, the only cart that hadn't moved was the one where Yue Yi stood, and she continued to wave her flag, facing the demons being torn apart in the distance, not a trace of emotion on her face, at some point, she had quietly activated her magic vision, her eyes returning to their black color, in a night like this, who would pay attention to such a small detail, the flag was lowered, and the formation's rotation came to a halt, Long Houchen observed carefully and found that, the magical arrows on the carts weren't infinite. Each cart could only launch two volleys, however, with hundreds of carts, it was like having hundreds of powerful magical weapons, even if they could only be fired twice, the piercing arrows they fired were enough to turn the tens of thousands of demon army into a sea of corpses, just at that moment, Yue Yi, standing atop the cart, raised her right hand, and a white scroll unfurled in the sky, suddenly, a white light shot up into the sky, illuminating the entire formation in its brilliance, immediately after, the white light rapidly expanded, enveloping the entire caravan within its glow, penetrating the ground, and in an instant, the ground beneath everyone's feet turned white. Yue Yi made a motion with her red flag, inserting it into the ground, and Long Houchen immediately heard the nearby drivers shout, use your weapons to insert into the ground, kill the Lurk Clan stealthers below, Long Houchen had already sensed the approaching Lurk Clan stealthers below, and the white-clad girl in command calmly responded, even though the scroll was white in color, it wasn't of the light element, but its defensive power and range were astonishingly impressive, allowing the Lurk Clan stealthers below to struggle in vain. As they were unable to break through the barrier of white light, on the contrary, when Long Houchen and his team inserted their swords into the ground, they encountered no obstruction, naturally, the two demon hunting squads wouldn't miss this opportunity, their perception was much stronger than that of ordinary people, accurately locating each Lurk clan member's position, and continuously thrusting their swords into the ground. The destructive power of their spirit-infused steel swords was substantial, soon, the Lurk clan stealthers in their vicinity were eliminated. In the distance, the demon army was now less than a third of its original size, and fewer than half of the flying demons remained in the sky. Their charge came to a halt, and they hesitated, clearly, they didn't anticipate that the counterattack from the Moonlit Knight Merchant Group would be so fierce, demons were also living beings, witnessing their kin's tragic deaths like this made them feel timid, they were somewhat intimidated, however, these remaining demons didn't retreat, instead, they stayed still over a kilometer away, a range that the magic arrows couldn't reach, Yue Yi, standing on the cart, frowned slowly. After all, she led a merchant group, not an army, and the power of those hundreds of carts had been almost fully utilized, with very few magic arrows remaining, if the remaining demons persisted in attacking. Then, the merchant group might suffer losses, not only in terms of finances, but also in terms of lives, a red figure silently appeared on top of a cart, approaching Yue Yi, Sister Yu, what's going on, those bastards haven't retreated yet, just like Yue Yi, Ling Xiao also activated her magic vision, changing the color of her eyes, Yue Yi said in a deep voice, I have a bad feeling, we might be in big trouble this time. In the past, even if a tribe dared to confront us, there would be some communication, and sometimes they would be appeased with benefits, but today, they launched a direct attack, mobilizing an army of tens of thousands, something only the three major tribes of the Narek province can achieve, since they've sent such a large force to deal with us, it means they're determined, we might be able to handle this wave, but we might not handle the second one, Leng Xiao was getting anxious. So what should we do, these bastards, they dared to attack against orders, when I get back, I'll definitely not spare them, Yue Yi didn't pay much attention to Leng Xiao's anger, and said in a deep tone. Now we have to take the initiative before the three major tribes react, eliminate the current enemies, gather the magic arrows and re-equip ourselves, then immediately retreat to the Temple Alliance, after resolving the issue with these three tribes, we can set out again, she had always been decisive, and as she spoke, her hand was already in motion with the command flag, and under its guidance, the formation of carts quickly adjusted, forming into a square formation, they slowly advanced toward the direction of the demons, Long Houchen also found, Yueya's proactive decision puzzling, what was the merchant group trying to achieve, however, in the next moment, he and Chai Air's expressions changed simultaneously. And they exchanged a glance, both recognizing shock in each other's eyes, everyone, change into your own equipment, we're preparing to break out, Long Houchen gave a low shout, then he threw away his long sword, and a white light flashed, 
To the astonishment of the cart drivers, he removed his cotton coat, revealing his holy spirit armor. Dian Yen became furious. Long Haochen, what are you doing? This will expose us. Long Haochen gave him a cold glance, if you want to die. Here, then keep playing tricks, as he spoke, he gestured to his companions. Naturally, Commander Level Number 21 Demon Hunting Squad wouldn't resist Long Haochen's command, and each of them swiftly changed into their gear, while maintaining their combat formation. Li Sin looked at Dian Yen hesitantly, as she wasn't the true leader of Soldier Level Number 4 Demon Hunting Squad. She looked directly at Lucy, at this moment, Lucy was thinking clearly, and immediately ordered, What are you waiting for? Haven't you heard Captain Long's orders? Change your gear. By this time, the caravan had moved several hundred meters, entering the area where they had previously attacked the demons and left corpses. Under the command of the flag, the cart drivers quickly picked up the discarded magic arrows from the ground, wiped them clean, and loaded them back onto the carts. Yue Yi was somewhat surprised that the remaining demon forces didn't charge at them, but instead retreated to a distance where the magic arrows couldn't reach them, with no intention to attack, and in the next moment, Yue Ye's expression finally changed. This is a trap. Dozens of chilling howls ripped through the night sky, amidst the sharp cries, from the left and right sides, as well as the rear, deafening roars erupted almost. Simultaneously, from three directions, at least 30,000 soldiers launched a frenzied charge toward the caravan. Leng Xiao stood dazedly beside Yue Yi, watching as Yue Ye's face lost all color. They, they actually mobilized so many troops, are they trying to, kill, exterminate, wipe out, all witnesses, these four words were almost squeezed out from between Yue's teeth, and she knew, since the three major tribes of Narek province had deployed such a massive army, they had no intention of leaving anyone alive, they wouldn't spare even a single survivor. Apart from the three sides surrounding them, a force of 10,000 appeared slowly in front of them, but they didn't rush into action, merely coldly observing as the Moonlit Night Merchant Company's caravan was encircled, faced with over 40,000 demon troops, the 2,000-strong caravan, was in a hopeless situation, as one could imagine, opportunities, being able to leave with their corpses intact would be lucky. At this moment, Leng Xiao surprisingly calmed down, Sis Yu. Should I reveal our identities to them, I don't believe they'll dare to attack me, Yue Yi smiled bitterly and shook her head, shaking her head, saying, it won't work, I know better than you what these tribes under the demon clan are like. No one will believe your words, they won't even give us a chance to speak, even if they did, so what, once our cover is blown, death is certain, the result is the same, death, they just need to kill us all, to erase the evidence at least, it seems they've planned this for a long time, they even know what we were transporting, the command flag didn't stop, instead, it waved even more urgently as Yue Yi spoke, the caravan stopped once again, quickly forming a defensive formation, picking up and reloading the leftover magic arrows on the ground as much as possible, however, it was evident that, the combat strength of the caravan had significantly declined from its initial state. For their few thousand strong caravan, the demons had mobilized an army of 50,000, highlighting how much they valued this operation, despite the losses they had suffered, the encirclement had already taken shape, and there was no way out for the moonlit night merchant company, Dian Yen stood quietly beside Lucy, his mood extremely gloomy, it wasn't just because Long Haochen had anticipated this, but also because of the dire situation they were facing. It was his suggestion that led them to become independent merchants, and the current circumstances proved that his advice had been mistaken, Lucy patted Dian Yen's shoulder, it's not your fault, while saying this, he walked over to Long Haochen, earnestly asking, Captain Long, what should we do, you're in charge of everything, Long Haochen nodded slightly, saying, once the battle begins, we'll break through from the front, General Lu, please focus on group healing, our squad, we'll lead the charge, while the rest of you follow behind, remember, don't try to steal their mounts, it'll make you an easy target on horseback, this is likely to be a prolonged battle, so conserve your spiritual energy as much as possible, understood, Lucy readily agreed, and he and his companions formed their formation, Long Haochen's expression wasn't good either at this moment, as they had just entered the demon territory not long ago, and they were already in such a predicament, their original plans had been completely overturned, the road ahead was still long, not to mention completing the mission, their top priority was to survive the current situation. Watching Lucy retreat to form his formation with his companions, Long Haochen glanced at Li Sin, then whispered to his companions, don't use the bursting spirit pills unless absolutely necessary. Keep the formation as compact as possible, In Air, we might rely on you later. As she spoke, Long Haochen came to Chen In Air's side, and whispered a few words in her ear, Chen In Air nodded repeatedly, no problem, while saying this, she gestured in the air with her finger, and a flash of light appeared, and her piglet McDull had already appeared in her arms, prepare for battle, Long Haochen shouted in a low voice. Han Yu remained behind, obviously, Long Haochen didn't believe he could entrust his back to the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad, among that team, the only one he could trust was Li Sin. On the luxurious carriage roof, after a series of movements by Yue's hand, the formation had already been set up, her expression had actually calmed down at this moment, as she handed a pair of command flags to Leng Xiao beside her, Xiao Xiao, I know you have a way to escape, if it's not possible, then leave, give the ring to his majesty, ask his majesty to ensure justice for us, while saying this, she took off the ruby ring from her hand and placed it in Leng Xiao's hand. 
Leng Xiao looked at the ring in his hand, then suddenly raised his right hand, wiping away the disguise on his eyes, and removed the ring in one motion, grabbing Yue's hand, and putting the ring back on her finger. Sis Yu, I can pretend I didn't hear what you just said, but, please don't insult the dignity of the Sky Demon Dragon lineage again, Yue's body trembled, her eyes showing a hint of excitement, but she quickly calmed down, it was clearly not the time to express gratitude, taking a deep breath, she put the ring back on, and said in a deep voice, alright, then we'll fight to the end, as she spoke, she flicked her wrist, and an exquisite wooden box appeared in her hand, the wooden box was about half a meter long, entirely black and made of wood, with gilded patterns, and embedded with red, yellow, blue, white, and gold gemstones, arranged in a special sequence. Forming an unknown formation, the box itself, was already an exquisite magical artwork, even without considering its practicality, Yue lightly pressed on both sides of the box, click, sound, and a small drawer emerged, containing a deep purple scroll. As the box opened, Ling Xiao's pink eyes instantly contracted, Yue calmly said, since they want to kill me, then, I'll give them a generous gift, Xiao Xiao. I'll need half an incense stick's time without interruption, is that possible? Leng Xiao nodded vigorously, I can do it, Yue Yi nodded slightly. Handing the command flag to Leng Xiao, and then sat cross-legged on the carriage roof, she didn't immediately take out the scroll, but placed the wooden box on her lap, removed the magic eyes covering her eyes, in an instant, a deep purple halo radiated from her captivating eyes, followed by, a purple light emanating from the center of her chest, it looked like a deep purple black hole, appearing particularly eerie in the dark night, the halo shimmering, and a deep purple three-legged. Cauldron floated out of the brilliance, the cauldron was round, and the moment it appeared, under its three legs, a purple full moon formed, and behind Yue Yi, a silver-white crescent moon shone. A dense wave of magic energy surged from her body, a silver bracelet on Yue Ye's right wrist sparkled, and a fist-sized milky-white gemstone appeared in her grasp. When this gemstone appeared, the magical elements around the carriage roof unexpectedly became viscous, causing the figures of the two people on the carriage to distort with the radiance. Yue Ye's finger moved, and the peculiar white gemstone floated up, accurately landing inside the purple cauldron released from within her body. Immediately, the purple light on the cauldron burst forth, transforming into a column of purple light shooting into the sky, above Yue Ye's head, a purple full moon instantly illuminated. Casting light over the entire carriage formation, a deep chant began to emanate from Yue Ye's mouth, and the scroll inside the wooden box slowly floated up, bathed in the radiance of the purple moon in the sky, she was no longer holy at this moment, but instead exuded an enchanting allure, her long hair instantly transformed from black to a bright purple, each note she chanted from her mouth was slow, yet firm and powerful, carrying a unique rhythm, all the elemental magic attributes. In the air grew restless. Even the blood within the members of the moonlit night merchant company below seemed ignited, what is she doing? Long Houchen turned his gaze to Linsen behind him, Linsen's face was filled with astonishment, it seems like she's trying to harness the power of that scroll, it feels like, her cultivation should be only slightly stronger than mine, but, how could she possibly harness the power of such a formidable scroll? The cauldron is probably her spiritual furnace, and it seems to contain a highly ranked magic crystal, is she trying to use the power of that crystal to activate the scroll, she's going all out, Chen Yin Air's eyes widened as well, could that scroll, be a forbidden curse? In the Holy Demon Continent, all ninth-tier magic is collectively referred to as forbidden curses, as they are taboo and destructive in nature, on the battlefield, the most destructive force is always magic, this is because they can harness the power of the world to unleash unparalleled might, of course, assuming they can complete their incantations, Linson muttered, if that's a forbidden curse, then, that magic crystal earlier was probably from a tenth-tier magical beast, both of. These items are beyond monetary value, this woman must be crazy, the four-sided demon army clearly noticed the purple moon as well, and their previously gradual approach suddenly shifted. Their speed instantly accelerating, swarming from all directions. After a moment of contemplation, Long Houchen said, suddenly raising his head, the woman from the Moonlit Night Merchant Company will likely need time to use the scroll, we're unsure of its power, but if she manages to cast this spell, it's something we won't be able to withstand, let's change the plan, when the battle begins, we should try to approach the woman. Protect her while she completes the spell, and at the same time, her location should be the safest, we'll act as soon as the melee begins. The demon army surrounding us has already reached a distance of 500 meters from our formation, the buzzing sound that we heard earlier erupted once again, although this time, each cargo carriage didn't possess its full burst of power, the blood-tipped magic arrows shot out, still releasing powerful destructive force, especially the large magic arrows, almost each one piercing through dozens of dual-wielding demons in the front rows. Blooms of blood mist erupted from all sides. Simultaneously, abruptly halting the advance of the demon army, Meanwhile, intense magic radiance began to shimmer within the inner circle of the formation, and the sky suddenly turned red. Then, a surge of intense fire elemental energy erupted, and large fireballs began to fall from the sky, hurtling toward the demon army from all directions, Long Houchen saw that, the ones casting these spells, were the magicians within the inner circle of the formation, their numbers weren't many, only thirty in total, their cultivation was around the fifth tier, which should be similar to Linson's spiritual level, however, these magicians weren't casting magic based solely on their 
Own abilities, this was a meteor shower, a sixth tier magic, it was entirely released through scrolls, 30 meteor shower scrolls, it was more like spending money than casting magic. Scrolls of this level of magic, even the cheapest, cost at least 10,000 gold coins each, they were incredibly valuable, Linson stared in shock, so rich, really so rich, that's 300,000 gold coins gone, the cost in gold was immense, but the effect was immediately evident, the scale of 30 meteor showers was immense, in an instant, the land turned into a hellish sea of flames, amid the resounding booms. The nauseating smell of burning flesh permeated the battlefield, it was possible to see grim demons being shattered by the meteor shower. The money spent on these thirty scrolls wasn't wasted, almost instantly sweeping away the cannon fodder dual-wielding demons that surrounded the demon army, along with causing injuries to many fourth and fifth tier demons, this completely halted the advance of the demon army, although dual-wielding demons were weak, their numbers were numerous, among the demon army of forty thousand, with more than a third consisting of them. Swaths of meteor showers were unleashed, leaving low tier. Demons unable to survive, those thirty magicians didn't pause, as they simultaneously released the meteor shower, each tearing open another golden scroll and chanting rapidly, as beams of golden light bloomed in the sky. All these magicians fell to the ground, sitting cross-legged in meditation, just casting the scrolls consumed so much energy from them, indicating a certain fact, that these scrolls were at least of the seventh tier, only surpassing the required tier by two ranks to use the scrolls, could cause such significant spiritual energy consumption, golden light patterns rippled in the air, then fell and scattered forming a massive golden light shield enveloping the entire formation, only. The purple light cast by the moon above Yuea's head easily pierced through this golden light barrier, and Yuea's chanting continued, undisturbed by any disruption, Long Houchen's pupils contracted for a moment. He wasn't a magician, but he could use light magic, he had seen it clearly just now, those scrolls were probably seventh tier light magic, the holy light array, only when thirty holy light arrays were combined could such an extensive defense be formed, the magic used by Yuea was filled with a dark aura, indicating that it was a dark magic scroll the use of a dark magic scroll within light magic wasn't affected, demonstrating a classic case of magic tier suppression. It seemed that Linsen and Chen Yin Air were right, it was probably a forbidden spell level magic scroll, the demon army didn't retreat due to the meteor shower bombardment, instead, they became fiercer and more fearless, thousands of dark purple lights fell onto the golden light shield, creating ripples, these were beams released by the demon eye sorcerers, the true core of the demon army had surged forward, with demon eye sorcerers launching ranged attacks from the rear, while at the Forefront charged a humanoid demon race, standing about 1.8 meters tall, bearing a striking resemblance to humans at first glance, yet with elongated faces, their eyes a disturbing green. Their arms ended not in human hands, but in long conical spikes, these spikes were nearly two feet long, with agile leaps, these humanoid demons were much quicker and stronger than the agile dual-wielding demons, moreover, their fighting style was distinct, the berserkers, the primary infantry force of the demon race, their combat prowess greatly surpassed that of the dual-wielding demons, fearless and unyielding in battle. Their resilient bodies coupled with ferocious attacks, they were comparable to third-tier human warriors, the spikes protruding from their arms possessed formidable penetrating power, serving as the bane of human infantry, the number of berserkers wasn't as vast as that of the dual-wielding demons. And in times of war, demons rarely deployed them for sieges, as they were too valuable to expend, at this moment, the berserkers appearing on the battlefield amounted to a total of 5,000, the reason was simple, the berserkers belonged to the Wrathful Waves tribe, which was one of the three major tribes in the Narek province. The Holy Light Array was a light-type group defense skill, possessing extremely strong defensive capabilities, yet despite the onslaught of thousands of berserkers from all directions, they were all repelled by the magic, forcing them to relentlessly attack the Holy Light Array, depleting the power of their magic, under the assault of numerous berserkers and demon eye sorcerers, the brilliance of the Holy Light Array, was rapidly diminishing, in mid-air, numerous two-headed demonic. Eagles soared through the sky, occasionally spewing dark magic projectiles that bombarded the Holy Light Array, in addition to the two-headed demonic eagles, there were also humanoid demons with flying ability. Their numbers were also significant, each wielding a jet-black long spear in their hands, with a large pair of wings flapping behind them, their deep blue bodies were adorned with eerie patterns that gleamed, despite flying in the air, they engaged in melee combat, waiting for the holy light array to weaken, these were the bird demons of the suffering departed tribe within the demon race, with a combat strength equivalent to the fourth tier, skilled and swooping down from the sky to Strike ground targets, the Suffering Departed Tribe was another major tribe in the Narek province, together with the Wrathful Waves Tribe and the Twin-Headed Demonic Eagles Tribe, co-ruling the province. Within the Moonlit Night Trading Group, whether it was the caravan guards, coachmen, or porters, all of them had taken up arms, anxiety evident on their faces, despite inflicting substantial casualties on the demon army with their caravan of over 2,000 people, the main forces of the three tribes in the Narek province remained intact outside, and once the Holy Light Array was breached, it was uncertain how long they could hold out, Long Houchen glanced at his companions behind him, all of whom had already equipped themselves, then he gave a low shout, move. As the Holy Light Array was still holding firm at this moment, everyone in the caravan formation acted uniformly, so no one noticed their changes, assuming they were their own guards, 
Long Houchen, along with the other twelve individuals, took advantage of the battle not yet being in full swing to quickly approach the carriage where Yue Yi and Leng Xiao were. On the carriage, Leng Xiao had already discarded the flag in her hand. Replaced by a long staff in her right hand, the staff was entirely black, with a crimson gem at the top that seemed to flow with blood, her black hair fluttered behind her head, and the pink hue in her eyes gradually turned crimson in the reflection of the staff's gem. Her devilish figure was captivating under the caress of the night breeze, one could faintly discern, on her skin, a faint trace of black pattern circulating, finally, after sustaining for almost five minutes, the golden light burst apart in an instant, accompanied by the spread of cracks, dissolving into countless specks of light that scattered into the night sky, leaving the demon army's formation exposed. And they rushed madly towards the caravan formation, the gory and chaotic. Melee had finally arrived, the thick aura of death, mingled with the scent of blood, pervaded the entire caravan.